so uh, dear students uh, let us continue with our discussion in the last session we understood that this is the ts diagram for representing the standard vapor compression refrigeration cycle or we can call it as vcrs v vcrs that is vapor compression refrigeration system okay so here Uh, as we discussed in the last session the saturated vapor form of the refrigerant or the working fluid is going to be compressed in the compressor and the all the other processes are remaining the same so this is called a standard vcrs or uh, this is our second module where we learn where we learn more about this vapor compression refrigeration system so he so you should understand that the vapor form the vapor compression or refrigeration system means the vapor form of the refrigerant is compressed during the compression process and followed by the all the other process so what are the various processes uh, involved in this vcrs or vapor compression refrigeration process so let us uh, discuss one by one so 1 to 2 1 to 2 process is our compression process so uh, the 1 to 2 process is considered as isentropic compression process okay or reversible adiabatic compression process so it will be transforming uh, it or it will be compressing the saturated vapor of the refrigerant to the condenser pressure okay to the condenser pressure so that is our compression process it will be compressing the the compressor will be compressing the saturated uh, vapor form of the refrigerant and it will be increasing that pressure Uh, of that vapor to the condenser pressure okay then 2 2-3 it is our condenser working or reversible uh, or constant uh, pressure heat rejection process so it is the constant 2 2-3 it is our constant pressure heat rejection process during this process what will happen the condensation of the Uh, uh refrigerant will be occurring how that condensation is occurring this heat rejection process during this constant pressure process it will be causing de superheating and condensation of the refrigerant okay so uh, initially at the start of the uh, heat rejection process or the condenser process the uh, refrigerant is at a superheated uh, vapor form okay so this super it is this superheated vapor form of this refrigerant it will be admitted to the uh, condenser or the heat exchanger where it will be undergoing a constant pressure heat rejection process so during this heat rejection process it will uh, the refrigerant will be undergoing de superheating that is opposite of superheating that is it will be the superheated uh, state uh, will be slowly getting converted to saturated uh, form and during the heat rejection process this vapor form will be slowly getting converted to liquid form so so during uh, at the start of the point 2 uh, uh, it will it the refrigerant will be in superheated vapor state it will be slowly getting converted to so uh, saturated vapor form then again then again the uh, uh, constant pressure heat rejection process is continuing so from 2 to 3 then finally when it is reaching the point 3 the refrigerant will be in it in its saturated liquid state because this line here it is the saturated liquid line over here okay so at the point 3 uh, that is after the heat rejection process finally at the point 3 the refrigerant will be now at a saturated liquid condition then 3 to 4 3 to 4 we already discussed what is that 3 to 4 it is the isenthalpic or constant enthalpic expansion process how that is carried out it is carried out using a throttling valve or a throttling device what will happen it is throttling valve it will be reducing the refrigerant pressure back to our evaporator pressure okay so where is this evaporator happening uh, where is this evaporator situated at 4 to 1 4 to 1 is the evaporator process or after this uh, isenthalpic expansion process the refrigerant uh, is is the refrigerant pressure will be reduced back to our uh, ref, uh, con, uh, back to our evaporator or the freezer compartment 
okay so evaporator is nothing but our freezer compartment where the refrigeration process is occurring during the refrigeration process what is happening 4 to 1 it is the 4 to 1 it is the constant pressure heat absorption or refrigeration process what is happening uh, what is happening to the refrigerant or the working fluid during this refrigeration process reversible addition of heat to the refrigerant causing the refrigerant evaporation and it will be convert the refrigerant will be slowly get converted to saturated vapor why because uh, at point 3 the refrigerant has become uh, saturated liquid but the pressure was a little bit high so during the throttling process the pressure is also getting reduced so at the point 4 what is the condition of the uh, refrigerant or the working fluid it will be at a it will be at a very low pressure and at the same day it will be a uh, liquid okay so it is this liquid uh, refrigerant it will be uh, absorbing heat from the freezer compartment during 4 to 1 so what is happening during that is heat absorption the liquid refrigerant will be slowly getting converted to vapor refrigerant by absorbing sensible heat as well as latent heat okay so if it is absorbing only sensible heat there will not be any phase transformation but in addition to the sensible heat uh, the refrigerant the liquid refrigerant will be uh, additionally absorbing the latent heat of vaporization also from the freezer compartment uh, undergoing evaporation so the refer since the, eva the since the refrigerant is evaporating during this refrigeration process that is why this 4 to 1 process or the refrigeration process is considered as evaporator okay so this part of this refrigerator the refrigerator is considered as evaporator okay so uh, by by considering all this now the uh, standard diagram of our uh, uh, vapor compression refrigeration process will be appearing like this so the most important step is our refrigeration step or the uh, constant pressure heat absorption step or the evaporator process the refrigerator is nothing but the evaporator where the refrigerant uh, sorry the liquid refrigerant will be evaporating by absorbing heat uh, from the uh, uh, various uh, various uh, things kept in the freezer it can be our ice cream it can be our uh, vegetables it can be anything that we are keeping in the freezer compartment for uh, refrigeration so 4 to 1 is our refrigeration uh, step or the or evaporator process then 1 to 2 is our isentropic compression process done by the compressor then 2 to 3 is our condenser process or the heat exchanger process where uh, the refrigerant the uh, superheated uh, form uh, so the superheated form of the uh, refrigerant the superheated vapor form of the refrigerant it will be uh, undergoing de super de superheating and condensation okay uh, at the point 3 the nature of the refrigerant will be in saturated wave uh, sa sorry saturated liquid condition it is this saturated liquid where refrigerant at point 3 it is going to enter the expansion valve or the throttling valve during this throttling uh, valve process the pressure of the uh, liquid refrigerant will be slowly getting reduced and finally the low pressure at the same time liquid state of the refrigerant it is going to enter the refrigerator again uh, undergoing evaporation and, and and again the cycle continues with the compressor okay then till now till now we were uh, focusing on the TS diagram uh, the temperature entropy diagram uh, of the refrigerant okay uh, it is uh, it is very good that we discuss the uh, TS diagram but when we consider our uh, uh, refrigeration uh, processes we should consider pH diagram or pressure enthalpy diagram why we are considering a pressure enthalpy diagram in refrigeration practice enthalpy is one of the most important properties uh, uh, that a manufacturer should understand or uh, the a manufacturer of a refrigerator should understand because enthalpy uh, enthalpy means it is the total energy content uh, of the refrigerant okay it is this this term enthalpy term which is a very uh, very much discussed term in in the refrigeration industries so instead of uh, 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 
discussing more about the TS diagram, we should discuss uh, en uh, entropy also. So now uh, at the same time, uh, pressure, uh, the pressure term of the refrigerant. Uh, or the pressure energy of the refrigerant at various portions of the uh, refrigerator cycle it is very easy to understand also so now uh, for ec purpose or uh, for representation purpose now uh, for and for ec calculation we are now we are going to focus on pressure enthalpy diagrams for vcrs or vapor compression refrigeration system so in our module 2 we will be discussing more about this uh, pressure enthalpy diagram and especially in vcrs or vapor compression refrigeration system so this is the uh, pressure enthalpy diagram for a vcrs how 4 to 1 4 to 1 is our constant pressure heat absorption process so uh, when we when we are considering 4 to 1 in our uh, pressure enthalpy diagram the vapor dome it will be uh, it was a inverted bell curve it was a inverted bell curve in our TS diagram, but instead of a inverted bell curve in the TS diagram, this uh, uh, pressure, uh, this vapor dome itself is slightly tilted uh, in a tilted uh, inverted bell shape, uh, which appears in the PS, PS diagram. Then 4 to 1 was our refrigeration process or constant pressure uh, heat absorption step by the refrigerant so from 4 to 1 the enthalpy will be increasing and at the same time it is a constant pressure process also and the starting point uh, that is 0.4 it will be inside the vapor dome that is uh, it will be both uh, liquid as well as vapor state then 4 to 1 and finally after the refrigeration process uh, the uh, saturated uh, vapor form of the refrigerant is attained then what is our next step 1 to 2 or the compressor process one what is this 1 to 2 it is a isentropic compression process okay so it is a isentropic compression process so isentropic line it will be inclined line like this in a uh, in a ph diagram how we can understand that after this compression process the final energy or the entropy uh, sorry so uh, the final energy of the of the refrigerant after the compression process will be higher than the starting of the compression okay so uh, the enthalpy at 2 will be greater than enthalpy at 1 so it will be inclined line like this okay then what is this 2 2 dash 3 2 2 dash 3 2 2 dash 3 it was a constant pressure heat rejection process or condensation process okay so it is again a constant pressure line 2 2 dash 3 so, 0.2 is a superheated vapor form of the refrigerant, 0.2 is the saturated vapor form of the refrigerant and finally after the condensation step, uh, the refrigerant is reaching 0.3 which is nothing but the saturated liquid condition of the refrigerant. Then what is the remaining portion 3 to 4, it is our throttling valve or the throttling uh, process, it is a uh, 3 to 4 it is a constant enthalpy expansion process using a throttling valve so it will be nothing but a vertical line over here 3 to 4 the causing uh, pressure decrease from p3 to p4 okay so pressure is getting reduced and at the same time it is a constant enthalpy line so 3 to 4 it will be a vertical line like this then followed by uh, now uh, due to this throttling expansion process the pressure of the refrigerant got suddenly reduced to uh, the back to the evaporator uh, pressure and at the same time the condition of the refrigerant at the, at the point for or the entry of the evaporator will be in its liquid condition so it is this liquid uh, refrigerant which is, which is going to enter the evaporator and undergoing evaporation then again entering the compressor process and this cycle is continuing so this is the ph diagram for vcrs or vapor compression refrigeration system now let us consider uh, now let us analyze this uh, vcr system in detail in the coming session thank you